Okay, I think it's time for me to make another video in regards to how to join us uh, for church services on the Sabbath day, which is Saturday. Uh, the church services on Saturday start at noon Eastern time for the children's story, and then at 1 Eastern time, we have the uh, adult study, which goes for a half an hour, and then at 1.30 Eastern time, we have the sermon. And then after that, we have fellowship, and then we have a 5 o'clock Eastern time uh, study, another additional study hour for uh, any adults that want to um, come around, or, or the kids. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a blessing either way, so it doesn't matter the age limits there. But uh, if you're looking for a church, though, and uh, don't have anywhere to go on Sabbath day, we can help you there if we have a church in your area. And so the easiest way to, to figure that out, if we actually have one for you, go to the Need a Church page. Just click there, fill out this form, send it in, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. One of the brothers in the faith is uh, contacting people in regards to uh, helping you find a church. Uh, but if we can't find you a church right away, like it says here on, on this page, you can join us in the conference room. And there's a lot of ways. You can either click here to join us in the conference room, or when you go to the main page on the website, you can click this button, the main one, uh, or you go to the audio section and scroll down to where it says uh, online church services right there. Or if it's actually Sabbath day, uh, there'll be a pop-up that shows up right in the center of the screen when you come to the website. And it's only there for the Sabbath up until the services end. And then uh, it'll disappear uh, after that, of course, uh, you can click that to get into the room. But for now, let's just click this one. And um, this also gives you an idea of like what times we meet. It, it gives all the uh, information there. Uh, there's also different ways that you can join us. You can you know, come in the chat room by hitting the join us right here or listen on the radio. But right now the radio's down, so give us a few weeks um, to try to figure that mess out. There's a little bit of a security issue going on there. And, uh, and then we also have a regular teleconferencing. You just dial in the phone number, and there's the password, and you're listening in live. And, and, and the radio would be live, too. Uh, but uh, for now, let's just hit the join us, and I'll show you how to register, because it's not the same way it used to be, where you got to have these registration codes that are emailed to you. Then you take that, and you put it in the... You know, we don't have to go through that route, because we have a different way of actually preventing problems in the conference room now. So... For now, since we don't have anybody that's signed on using the name Jeremiah, uh, let's register someone by the name of Jeremiah, and I'll show you how that works. So just put your name there, and then put in a password. For now, we'll just do it like we did in the last video, one, two, three, four, five, and then confirm it by typing it in again. Let me think I hit too many keys there. And then put in your address. Um, let me just use this one here. And um, we'll go with that. And if you want to read the terms and conditions, you can just by clicking that red question mark. But for now, let's just click we agree and then hit register. And that's this registration successful. You can now log in. So, you know, let's say you're ready to come in the room. So you just uh, type in Jeremiah. You put in your password, which is one, two, three, four, five. And if you hit remember me, it will remember you every time. You, like, for example, the next time you come in, you won't have to put in your neighbor password. It'll just remember you. Uh, now, the only way it won't remember you is if you did like a, like, like if you cleared the cache in your browsers or I did some major updates to the server and uh, cause it to go down and come back up again. And then it might lose you then. Uh, but anyway, if you forget your password, don't worry about it. Just put the email in that you registered in right there and uh, it'll send you instructions on how to get in. And so for now, let's just hit log in, and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, when you get in right away, it's going to ask you to want to, you know, have a picture. Uh, you could pick one of the avatars here that you can use for your, your picture. Uh, you can upload a picture if you want a small one, of course. A lot of people usually do that. Or if you don't want a picture at all, you just use the generic-looking display. Uh, you can edit your profile here. You don't have to do any of this. And, and uh, your country, you could put in here as well. They're all in there, Okay. And, uh, and then your settings. Now, you might want to do this when you get in here. First thing you might want to do is turn that off. The sound alerts, because every time someone types into the chat room, it makes a little ding. And when someone's speaking, this is an audio, this is an audio video conference room, by the way. Uh, but when someone's speaking, you keep hearing those dings, and it's very annoying. And there's other things that you could do if you want. And, and this stuff here is stuff that came with the software. We don't even use that. And so um, let's just for now just pick a picture like say the you know 
this uh, cute kid here and hit save. And so you're in the room now. Okay, here it's not showing the picture yet. So I guess you have to come in and you got to leave and come in. But one of the first things you're going to see is this yellow box. And that yellow box will show up every 20 minutes while you're in the church service. Uh, and that's just to let people know uh, that when you're brand new, you're going to have that little smiley face. Oh, there, good. Look, see the picture showed up. Uh, but you're going to have that little smiley face right there. And that what that means is you can't text, you can't get private messages, you can't even get on video because you're brand new, nobody knows you yet, and this is to prevent problems because, you know, people might come in and cause problems. After we get to know you a little bit and you send uh, a request, like if you click here, it'll uh, pop up this form and you fill it out and I'll turn on your text ability. That way you can text in a room. And your video would show up here. Uh, we do have a video chat room that's for like church members and students. And, uh, and you can get in there too as well and everybody could see each other. So anyway, I wanted to just share this with you just to invite you to come. Uh, those of you that are subscribed to us here on uh, YouTube. Uh, but the main thing was is to make an updated version of how to get in the room because we don't use the same security methods as we had before. The security methods we use now prevent problems right off the bat. And so hope to see you on Sabbath day. Thank you for watching. God bless.